discussion on parasternal long axis view in echocardiogram and splash screening animated view of parasternal long axis view in echocardiogram in this animated view from parasternal long axis the focus is on the movement of the anterior mitral leaflet movement of posterior mitral leaflet is not conspicuous in this view though it can be seen moving posteriorly on close inspection please subscribe to this channel for future updates click on the subscribe button press the bell icon after that for all updates anterior mitral leaflet almost touches the interventricular septum in the fully open position rv right ventricle lv left ventricle la left atrium ao aorta parasternal long axis view is often the first view obtained during an echocardiographic study it is used to guide a mode echocardiography for left ventricular measurements initially the parasternal long axis view is obtained when satisfactory images are available after fine adjustments of the transducer position a mode cursor is placed in such a way that it is at the caudal level then the m mode button is pressed so that m mode tracings are obtained images used for this animated sequence follows mitral valve is seen in a nearly closed position left ventricular outflow tract anterior to aml is seen as very wide aortic leaflets are not visible as they are thin and in the fully open position almost merges with the aortic wall echoes mitral valve is seen in the partially open position jutting into the left ventricular outflow tract aortic wall can be seen faintly across the aorta in a closed position mitral valve is seen to be widely open and the aortic wall closed anterior mitral leaflet almost reaches the interventricular septum wide mitral orifice is visible one more frame with mitral valve open and aortic valve closed mitral valve has started closing and moves towards the posterior leaflet mitral valve is moving further posteriorly a study from australia evaluated the efficacy of a single parasternal long axis view sweep of the heart or splash to screen for rheumatic heart disease in children they enrolled 1365 school students in the prospective study which compared splash with standard echocardiographic screening as per world heart federation echocardiographic criteria abnormal splash were found in 109 children estimated prevalence of definite and borderline rheumatic heart disease was 35.2 per 1000 11 children with congenital heart disease were found of which two were needing cardiac surgery no cases of rheumatic heart disease or significant congenital heart disease were missed on splash screening sensitivity was 1.0 and specificity 0.95 for identifying rheumatic heart disease here is the journal reference on splash screening please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates thank you